So where do we start? <laughs> So in 2017, we decided we were ready to adopt another cat. We already had Juliette, who was about seven or eight at the time, and she'd never lived with any other cats before. We just didn't know how that would go down or if it would be a welcome addition or not. So somehow I found Cat Adoption Team and they posted on Facebook that one of their foster volunteers who had just taken in a new pregnant cat who was about to give birth. She was covered in flea bites and she was missing patches of hair. She was really skinny, even though she was pretty heavily pregnant. She um, looked rough. She was in really bad shape. Yeah. And Shelby was posting pretty frequently and giving updates. How's Licorice doing? How's she adjusting? And... And so on uh, March 3rd, 2017, <laughs> we actually were able to, to witness the birth of Lizzie, which was incredible. Six tiny little kittens. Yeah. It was like three or four little fluffy white ones, one tabby and one black one. And that turned out to be Lizzie. Yeah. We got to see when they opened their eyes, first steps <laughs> and all of that. So when we got to go visit, we went to Shelby's house. We got to meet all of the kittens, meet Licorice who is still rehabilitating. The kitten known as Sequoia was super fun. She was really interested in us. She was... Um, she played so hard. She played so hard so that she hard. passed out. <laughs> yeah, and, and she <laughs> passed out so hard. <laughs> she passed out right in my hands. And so I think that's when we knew though. Yeah, yeah. she wasn't even two pounds. She was like she smaller was than a so baby. Little. Yeah. So we really fell in love and, and knew that she was the one we wanted. And fast forward to April 15th, 2017. That's when we went to the cat adoption team to go pick up Lizzie. Right, she just hit eight weeks, just hit two pounds. She had just been spayed that morning. Yeah. So she had, nice. her belly was all shaved and she had little tiny stitches. Part of the integration is to keep them in separate rooms. So we had Lizzie on one side, Juliette on the other, and we have these French doors so they're able to see one another and smell one another. <laughs> and so that was really funny. We have a really good photo right here of, of Juliette uh, looking at Lizzie for the first time. Like, what is this? Not sold. No. Immediately. <laughs> no, and it took a little bit of time to, maybe a few weeks uh, for her to adjust. She used to hiss a lot and Lizzie was mostly just confused but still wanted to play. <laughs> She was pretty desperate. She was really loud and really vocal and she kind of sounded like a dinosaur. Maybe, you know, two, three weeks in, uh, I caught them on the bed together one day. Cuddling on a blanket, yeah. kind of by accident. And then they woke up and then they were friends. Yeah, yeah, and, and, uh, and they became inseparable. They're completely in love with each other. They spend every day taking baths and cuddling and playing and wrestling, so. It really worked out. Yeah, everybody wins. <laughs> so a year went by of Lizzie still wanting to play all the time. Right, we had tons of video, tons of pictures. And it kept escalating. We kept making more and more, and it got even more and more out of control. And eventually one day we're like, oh, we should put her in Jurassic Park. Yeah, it was like a natural fit of her energy and her her diva spirit and, and your editing skills. Yeah, yeah, and it all just kind of fell into place without really any goal in mind. And uh, before we knew it, she turned into the online sensation that she is, Owl Kitty. We have a picture of her that was just so funny because just the way her face is and the way her body is shaped. She's got big eyes on a little head with a little nose and mouth and then like a, a lovely pear-shaped body. And just at a certain angle, she totally looks like an owl. And you know, our whole operation, it's very small scale. It's very homemade. It's just us. It's just us here in our apartment with a green screen, just a green sheet that we hang up. And I think that's something that people find really surprising is just how basic the whole setup is. And also Lizzie being completely black uh, helps a lot with the, the technical side. So I can remove her from the green really easily. So before we knew it, she had fans all over the world. We kind of saw this as an opportunity to really spread that message of Adopt Don't Shop. A lot of people often ask us uh, what breed Lizzie is. And uh, we don't really have an answer to that. So we usually say she's a shelter kitty and, and uh, it's really the best breed. Yeah, we just want to make it really clear that any cat can be a star. And also to reduce the stigma for black cats because they, they definitely still have a harder time being adopted from shelters. And one of the most amazing things, her mom who was named Licorice got adopted into a really happy home and now her name is Pepper. 
And just to see the change in her, she's like a completely different animal. And it's been a real transformation. It's incredible to see because they look so much alike. We encourage everyone to check out your local animal adoption center. There's a lot of ways you can get involved. So just reach out to them and, uh, and see how you can help. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we're gonna get out there and make more great videos. Bye, Lizzie. <laughs>